morning. We are now in Subic, or more specifically Olongapo, for doing our wreck diving course. Uh, we're going to team up with uh, Sean and Michelle later uh, for them to instruct us. And uh, with that, we will finally have the Paddy uh, wreck diving course, uh, which will make us certified to do wreck diving. And I think this is just going to be a kind of short video because the visibility in Subic is not exactly the best, but I will try to show the highlights at least. Here. Wait, there. Uh, I just wanted to detail a little bit about wreck diving. It's actually maybe the course I wanted to take uh, the most of all the specialty courses in Padi because I don't know, I just have this fascination with man-made objects on the water. Uh, it's kind of difficult to explain, but I think I share the same sentiment with a lot of wreck divers. Now what about wreck diving? What do you really need to know? It's more like you need to learn uh, <laughs> proper techniques to uh, what is called penetration, which is to go into the wreck, uh, serving hazards uh, and mapping the wreck. Uh, so it's basically to make sure that you are doing the dive as safely as possible. My least favorite part about scuba diving is trying out that suit that doesn't belong to me. It's kind of like a challenge, right? Bye, guy. Yes, sir. Wait. Yeah. Bye, guy. Can I take it off now? <laughs> so why exactly is uh, Subic uh, one of your favorite spots for uh, at least training with scuba diving? Uh, in wreck diving. Uh, for diving. Yeah. Well, first, it's the nearest in Manila, oh, okay. from Manila, and then of course the history behind, you know, um, that happened in the past about. Oh. Um, because this was a naval base, naval base, right? Oh uh -huh. yeah, I know. And then war that happened. Oh, the this, these are World War Two shipwrecks. Some, but okay. Yeah. So, some, ah. some were used in the war, but some got sunk because of a typhoon. Right. Oh, that's cool. I actually thought this was just recent wrecks. Yeah, the reason for the low visibility is because of the river. River, and this is just a bay, so no current, minimal. Ah, okay. The water is not moving, so you'll see suspended particles, literally suspended, not moving at all. Oh, okay, that's cool. And then later on, we will also simulate that visibility is bad, so I will give you a mask. Your mask is. Yeah. Simulated visibility is bad. Now we're going to the boardwalk, the famous spot in Subic, which it's, it's kind of a nice beach, I would say. But I've never seen it before with my own eyes, so I've yet to see it. <laughs> well, this is the boardwalk, I would say. Uh, it kind of, it's actually nicer than I expected. It kind of reminds me of uh, Norwegian Theater, and they also have uh, the industrial area here in the background. But it still looks pretty nice. Oh! Yeah. This is the first time we will take a boat like this in the Philippines. <laughs> this is the first time we will not ride a banca. Oh no, it's not the first time for me to not ride a banca because I tried uh, all the kinds of boat in the south. I kinda, I'm curious how fast this one really is. The boat here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this boat's quite fast. Okay. This one wasn't as fast as I expected, honestly. What? This wasn't as fast as I expected, honestly. Maybe just as fast as a well-designed bunker. Mm. <laughs> now, what is this called again? Is it a uh, L? Uh, landing craft unit. Landing O L C U. So it's okay. the, it comes from big boat, maybe LST, and then they'll bring the soldiers. Oh yeah, I know. I can't like this. Huh? Go to the shallow yeah. um, area. And Phoebe's landing vehicle also known as. Ooh, that's cool. I wanted to see those, but uh, I've never been to a museum, so maybe this is the closest I will come to it now. You said the water wasn't going to be so clear, but it looks relatively clear to me. This is our first dive, and we will be doing a uh, technique, or learning technique, right? Of using the reel, which is a, yeah, it's a rope, sort of, that you use. Uh, to navigate back in case you lose visibility, I would say. But you can also use it for other things. Uh, but we're going to use it to extend it and then uh, use it to find our way back uh, using only that one. 
inside uh, that uh, landing ship or uh, landing uh, vessel. Now I need to see how much I can record though because <laughs> this is a training course. So we'll see. Alright, that dive didn't really go according to the plan. Uh, so on the BCD as it's called, the suit you use to inflate and keep buoyancy, uh, there's this hose that was leaking on me. So I had to change to Sean's own BCD, which has this... Uh, let me show. Uh, it has something called a crotch strap. It basically goes here in your crotch. And it's a, it's a little bit too small for me, so basically it was really tight on the crotch here. <laughs> I think yeah. I'm I think I am sterile now so that's <laughs> scrambled egg as they say. Uh, either way because uh, the BCD or uh, his suit is very unusual for me uh, and we are this is the first dive we were not supposed to film anything so I didn't bring this one. But uh, Michelle took some really nice photos. Ship, right? It's amazing. It's 80. It's the third time. It's the third biggest ship in the area. Oh, really? Third biggest? And it's a cargo ship? Yes. Okay. So very similar to Morazamaru from uh, Koran. At least from how it looked like on the schematic. of setting we're now in uh, Nathaniel's bakery I believe uh, to have some uh, puto and dinuguan and of course some uh, halo halo because May always wants halo halo right <laughs> you know I don't really eat eggs so I have to remove it from the puto it's like puto maybe one a bit of intestine or stomach. Now uh, some sort of inner. Oh, what's it? Oh, it has content. I think asado. Asado, yeah. Like Shopa or puto. Shopa puto. In the meantime, I'm also doing our final knowledge review that we need to 
We need to finish the theory before we can actually get uh, certified by Sean. This Dino Guan is actually pretty good to me. What I meant by I don't like the texture is that sometimes I have really cheap one and then the, it's, it's basically just pork fat and I, I don't really like uh, soft pork fat. But this one has uh, good texture. This is actually the first time I had the Dino Guan since uh, 2019. So yeah, I'm happy to have had a good one here. One with a very good tangy, kind of slight sour taste. It's really good. Um, yeah, now it's time for Halo Halo. What's your verdict? Good Halo Halo. Oh, I almost forgot to show something that is really recommended to do. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, Puto with Dino Guan, it really complements the meal. I, I completely forgot. So puto in Philippines is a rice cake basically. Sometimes they have egg but I remove it. Uh, but in other Spanish speaking countries, <laughs> this is a very bad word. <laughs> so if you're Spanish, you've probably been offended for the past uh, three minutes. Okay, this is the stuff of uh, Nathaniel. Jandros. 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 Hi guys. So. Hello, I'm, I'm really <laughs> <laughs> well, very nice meeting. You're very delicious. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. I will come back when we go back to Subic. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm not going. I'm not leaving yet. Oh, hello. <laughs> I need to finish my halo halo first, though. Buying it. Okay, me bought something from the bakery that uh, I have no idea what it is. What's it called again? Moni. Moni bun. I'm confused. <laughs> At first, I thought it was going to be nuts, and then oh no, it's a caramel. Hmm, it's a caramel. No, this is not like caramel taste. And I think it tastes like raisins. No, it tastes like some palok, like uh, tamarind. What is it? Tamarind? Mm -hmm. Hey, it's tamarind. Money gold. That's actually pretty good. It's like a... some palo candy. Okay. This is carabao milk. It doesn't smell like anything. Let me try. Wait. Mm. It tastes really good. But it's so fatty. <laughs> It's kind of like drinking cream, but uh, I really like the taste because it really tastes like milk. Yes, this is a great alternative to milk. Although it's a little bit weird to slurp in the, <laughs> uh, the fat clumps. <laughs> Actually, after having tried to shake it to mix the fat, it's indistinguishable from whole milk, at least from Norway. Oh, so fresh. Right, uh, next day today. Now the dive for today, we're going to do night drops. We actually took the course, so that allows us to stay uh, underwater for a little bit longer at the deeper depths due to the decompression because it's, it's less nitrogen in this air. Jody! Jody. <laughs> go, go! <laughs> that's, uh, that's Jordan. Uh, a friend of uh, Sean, but also a friend of us now. She's actually, uh, there's a triathlon going on over That's why there's a lot of people oh. running past. Okay. So far, so far. <laughs> there was an Ironman two months ago and she was the number one. Uh, she was the winner. So she's a, uh, yeah, she's very <laughs> athletic. <laughs> athletic. That's what uh, the word I was looking for. And uh, now it's time to go to the boat. Now we're back at, uh, is this called the uh, Boardwalk Beach? Boardwalk. Boardwalk. I don't know, I just really like it because it reminds me of a Norwegian beach. Wow. Like this? Yeah, it's kind of like this. Yeah. Which is uh, where I will be going to in exactly two weeks from today. Going back home. Right 
by the what's it called? LST. LST. LST shipwreck. Yeah, so it's a it's short for landing trip, uh, landing ship transport from uh, World War II. And this is actually where we will do a last dive. Uh, now shipwreck diving it has four dives or specialty dives sort of. But we have already done one in Batangas a month ago or something or almost two months ago. Uh, which includes mapping. Now the other dives we've done is using the reel and also penetration. So the last dive is kind of going to be the easiest dive I would say, which is just to survey the ship for uh, potential hazards and maybe just kind of enjoy it. So that's very nice. And hopefully when we finish this one, we will have our certificate. Depends on how nice uh, Sean is today. <laughs> <laughs> marks it for the last dive and uh, now hopefully we will get the certification and I think I am uh, very bad at reflecting on uh, our activities but this dive I mean uh, the LCU and uh, El Capitan they're very nice dive uh, El Capitan is very similar to uh, Morazamaru in the Coron so the layout is very similar it's a cargo ship and then uh, the LCU it was very interesting to swim along it because it has some small compartments where uh, you could go into and enter and the water was very clear so uh, the visibility was good and now this one I think this one they, they all have their different charms but uh, this one here in particular was very interesting as it was very deep and there's uh, it was kind of broken because from a oh yeah <laughs> it was kind of broken from an earthquake that happened last year so you cannot enter it but you could have that before but nonetheless the structure looks uh, it's stunning honestly and there was so much aquatic life including the biggest puffer fish I've ever seen oh yeah by the way the triathlon here is uh, it's done it seems there's no more people running uh, past so we will see uh, Jordan later oh I didn't actually know this is the LST map of the LST that they want me to with <laughs> yeah I can actually recognize it there number one <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> she's a she's a iron woman. Iron woman. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> yeah, I got first place in age group thirty to thirty nine. Can wow. you train me so I can yes. also get first place? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for supporting me. <laughs> wow! Finally, I passed the one thousand mark of minutes spent in the water. I'm now starting to grow uh, gills. <laughs> Stamp everything and now is the moment of truth. Are right. we getting certified Take or not? Foot. See you soon on the next uh, course in, and if not we will in, just yes. go to Batangas Trum for... Trums. Trums. Are you coming to Tromsa? I don't know. Trumsa. <laughs> Trumsa. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Sana all. <laughs> <laughs> next uh, one will probably be photography. This is Sean, best uh, driver truck driver, <laughs> I would say. I mean, if you want to argue, then uh, come online and uh, debate me, but yeah. <laughs> My favorite dive instructor. So, contact them if you want to also get some great uh, dive and even uh, get your own certificates, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.